with the regional tournament, hopefully um, we push some guys through to the national tournament. So um, hopefully it's not our last weekend of competition and, and trained all year, you know, for that. Uh, with UAAs, uh, you know, again, tough competition and, and really pushed us in a lot of ways. But I think the driving, you know, message to the team is at this point of the year, everybody's beat up, you know, everybody's sore. Um, it's going to be the, the people that are successful are going to be the ones that, you know, find a way to navigate through the stress. And and, uh, and it's our job as coaches to help them through that. So, you know, we're uh, trying to get them, you know, in the right mental space and the right physical space um, so that, you know, at home they can represent Case well and, and represent um, their families and all the work they put in. It's, it's really hard to completely express, you know, how important it is for wrestling, all the help that we've gotten from, you know, our support staff, from our administrative staff, um, from, you know, colleagues within the department. Um, it, it has been absolutely incredible. Um, full effort where, you know, since we're inviting, you know, essentially 19 other teams into our facility, um, you know, with with our location, it's probably going to be a mega event, you know, of the year. I mean, I assume it's going to be really well attended, especially on a Saturday, Sunday in Cleveland. Um, so I'm really excited about it. But just trying to bring wrestling. The goal, you know, of course, is to qualify, you know, for the national tournament, but also equally a goal is to bring wrestling to the forefront, you know, here and, and try to revive you know, the program, bring some energy to it um, and, uh, you know, I think this is a step in that direction of showing the value of what wrestling can do and, and how competitive it can be um, and what we can bring to Case Western too. So I, I think that's that's really important. It really isn't going to take anything superhuman, you know, it's, it's just dialing in, you know, forcing our opponents to wrestle our style and, and it's going to come down to execution. Right. So um, the people that, you know, are the athletes that stay mentally locked in and execute, they win. Um, and that that's regardless of, of the sport. But, you know, the central region is incredibly tough. Um, and so, you know, I'm, I'm just excited, you know, to see where our guys are at and see what energy they bring to this competition, especially after UAAs. I asked them to rebound. I asked them to you know, to up their level here, you know, heading into this event. So hopefully they do that. My name is Dominic Roberts. I'm a uh, first year on the wrestling team. Senior year, uh, a couple of my friends and I decided to do a senior project and we, uh, we didn't have any like funding or anything. We just kind of went on Amazon and had to buy a bunch of uh, like chemicals and stuff. And we ended up making like um, rocket fuel and a uh, rocket motor out of just stuff that we bought on Amazon and PVC pipes. And so that was, a uh, it was really fun. Uh, we ended up uh, having a good time and also we uh, passed the, uh, passed the project, so. That was a big win for us. <laughs> Ended up not going that high because it uh, sort of blew up the last time we tested it. But uh, we got a couple of tests that were really promising before that, but we weren't allowed to do a showcase at our school, unfortunately. But either way, it was a great experience. I had a, had a good time and learned a lot. I'm a computer science major. My friend is an aerospace major, and we just wanted to... Uh, do it. It just sounded really cool. Um, we thought that it would be really interesting too, just to see if we could do it with just a bunch of uh, kind of ragtag things. So it worked out pretty well. I just like the fact that I'm able to like make things uh, happen. Just I, I like to be able to make things like easier for myself. Sometimes I um, Started taking computer science in like eight, uh, in like uh, eighth grade. I went to like some college course at a local community college, and ever since then, I've just been looking for new opportunities and uh, places to do it. I've taken a bunch of classes, and every time, it's just very interesting to see how you can really just do anything with codes. I took 132 or CSDS 132 last semester, and that was a really fun experience. Um, projects were. Uh, difficult, but when you got done with them, it was really nice to 
look back at what you created. We made a game for, at the end of uh, the class last year, and uh, in tenth grade for my uh, one of my computer courses as well, I made um, I recreated this game on the App Store that got taken down a while ago that I used to play all the time. So I thought that was pretty cool.